Church. Welcome once again to the 10 days of prayer. Today, the title goes by Seeking the Revival Altogether. And it is definitely the need that we have today. This revival will come not by one or two, but the whole congregation coming together. Yes, there is power in prayer on a single person. But when we come together as one, you will see miracles happening within our church. We are preparing ourselves to see some of the greatest miracles taking place in our community this year. How is that supposed to start? Well, it starts by you and by me asking God for a true revival in our lives, a restart of our lives, of our vision of Jesus, our connection with Him. Right now, I'm standing in a place where this is usually during the rest of the year, spring, summertime, fall. This is a lake, and this lake right now is currently hard ice as a stone. But let me tell you, when the sun of righteousness shines over this place, even the hardest and coldest place turns into a warm river and lake where water flows. Life takes place in this moment at this place. I tell you, when we pray for those that we want to see in heaven, even though their lives are cold and hard as a stone their hearts might be, God will melt them. He has promised that He will touch their lives. So I want to encourage you to pray for five individuals this year that you want to see in heaven. I want you to open your book and write their names down and pray every single day that the Holy Spirit will melt their lives and they will come to Jesus when the time is due. God has promised that He will touch their lives. Now it is our privilege to intercede for them. Do not tell them yet that you're praying for them. Maybe take a month, maybe it might take three months. It could even take up to six months. But the time will come when our, when our church will hold evangelistic series. Maybe there will be a revival series coming up. The time will come and we are working as a church planning when those days are going to be set up. And I want you to then tell them that you've been praying for them. Because God is about to bring them to home. God is about, about to bring them to their place. I tell you, God is willing and God is in the business of changing lives. Even this cold ice, hard as a stone, can be melted with the power of the Holy Spirit. He has promised to us that when we come to Him, He's not only willing to transform us, but He's willing to change us all. And if your sins are red as a scarlet, He has promised them to be transformed white as a snow. And when I see this with snow here, I can definitely be reminded of the promise that God has said He will change our hearts. Effectively, Zechariah 4, 6 tells us, nor, not by might, nor by power, but with my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. I encourage you today to keep on praying, keep on hanging on to those promises. We have more than 7 thousand promises in the Bible and in each one of them you will find hope for not only you but your loved ones those that you want to see in heaven this year is the year where God is about to melt our communities and waters will flow out of our church through the streets of Williams Lake, through the streets of, of Quenel, through the streets of the Cairo region, where people are going to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit working in their lives. I encourage you, get connected. Start living in this revival. Let's restart our spiritual lives again. May God bless you. Have a wonderful Sabbath.